Un Academy. Let's crack it. Now you are uh, selected and sent as district magistrate of a, a district in Bihar. Yes. And you are required to write your mission statement for that assignment. What will be the things that you will cover in your mission statement? Have you heard of mission statement? Yes, sir. Vision and mission statement outlines the broad policies of any organization. Okay. So, what will your mission statement include as a district magistrate of your district? Sir, not framing the exact statement, but it would revolve around three pins of uh, reducing poverty by ensuring that uh, government schemes, the subsidies and the targeted schemes reach the poor. Second is uh, increasing the employability by skilling in the district, in any given district. And third would be improving the status of uh, primary and secondary education in the district. All right. Now, if I make a statement that Bihar population is unfit for a democratic process, please comment. If you agree with it, justify. If you dis disagree with it, please tell me why. Uh, sir, could you kindly clarify? I could not understand a democratic okay, process. Okay, all right. Uh, time and again, the Bihar people have elected uh, a particular prime minister who is now in jail, okay. right? Of a certain scam. And the whole country knew about this long time back. But the, the legal process took so long. Then when he was actually removed, his wife stepped into his shoes. So it was from husband to jail and wife from kitchen to cabinet. And when these people are released from jail, people will line up along the roadside and lakhs to clap and garland these people, garland criminals. So in that context, I'm making that statement that the Bihar population is unfit for a democratic process. Please comment in this background. Sir, my assessment of the statement would be, yes, uh, there has been, through the democratic process, we have selected leaders who have not been able to live up to the expectation. But then um, the choice of people in a democracy is like people are free to choose and vote as per their conscience. Uh, the reason why they uh, vote could be analyzed on two lines. One is the deep deeply entrenched caste system in Bihar society and second is the lower levels of literacy rate among the population which um, which I would say does not translate into objective decision making based on logical inputs rather it is more of a matter of social bandwagoning wherein if one person of a particular caste votes, votes for someone then the entire community without thinking rationally would vote particularly for that person. So, would you suggest some kind of a minimum educa education qualification to be able to cast a vote? Sir, although the idea is uh, good, but that would go against our the spirit of our constitution and the RPA Act, because uh, disenfranchisement of people would inviolate in some terms the basic elements of our constitution. Although uh, Honorable Election Commission has, through its programs such as SWEEP and other, has tried to um, sensitize and spread awareness among the voters about their uh, uh, how to correctly and rationally exercise their vote. So instead of uh, prescribing a minimum educational qualification, I would uh, prefer uh, starting a program based on community level participation wherein we can spread awareness about the uh, candidates who are participating in the uh, election process as well as their background and um, campaigning and electioneering on a wider scale. All right. Uh, did, uh, was the U Iraq war of 2003 uh, supported by the United Nations? I am sorry sir, I am not sure of the Okay, answer. it was not. Now what about Ukraine war? What was UN's role in Ukraine war? Sir, United Nations uh, posed 
proposed a resolution which uh, stated which request or rather uh, directed Russia to stop all its war activities based on humanitarian concerns of Ukrainian people. And India, uh, through its uh, pr purpose of strategic autonomy and relations with Russia, abstained from voting on the resolution. So, UN could not stop Iraq War 2003, it could not stop Syrian War, it could not stop Ukraine War. So, whichever country which is in a position might is right is doing that. So, you think this organization has become irrelevant? Sir, it also could not stop Bosnian War, or the initial part of that. Sir, I agree with the statement that it has not been effective in stopping wars between nations or amongst continents. Uh, but the utility of United Nations is on a broader scale more than just bringing negotiating parties to a table. Through its uh, allied organizations, it has also contributed a lot to spread of education, first aid relief such as UNESCO, UNICEF uh, and World Trade Organization. Other organizations have contributed to uh, in every sphere, from social problems to finance. So, in that way, I would say that United Nations still holds relevance, although in the future, to make it more effective, reforms in the United Nations must be brought uh, by the consensus of all the parties. Thank you.